I'm excited to be heading out to San Diego this week as the Miami Dolphins travel to San Diego to take on the Chargers, two hot teams that have suddenly got themselves in the AFC playoff picture. Miami having won three games in a row, San Diego winning last week. So let's start with the home team, San Diego Chargers. It's all about Phillip Rivers and how he can spread the football around. He lost some weapons early in the season with Keenan Allen being lost for the year and Danny Woodhead in the backfield. But Melvin Gordon has picked things up with the running game, 196 yards rushing a week ago. And if you can get that kind of balance with the offense, I think that's going to be a tough offense to, to have to attack when you can bring him from two different ways, whether it be with that run game, play action pass. Phillip Rivers likes the five-step drop, seven-step drop, pushing the ball up the field. And then John Pagano is doing a nice job with the defensive side of the ball. Let's jump over to Miami with the Dolphins. Ryan Tannehill is playing much better, had some inconsistency throughout his career and even early in this season, but now he's made some adjustments to Adam Gase's offense, and Adam is doing a better job of calling plays and getting Ryan Tannehill in position to have success. So if you look at the last three games, this three-game winning stretch, Tannehill has no turnovers, and that's important for the Dolphins, and you look at his one loss record when he's not turning the ball over. And then, of course, lined up behind him, Jay Ajayi had those two 200-yard rushing games in back-to-backs weeks, had an impressive game last week against the Jets defense that was number one against the run, but Ajayi close to 100, yards, uh, close to 100 yards or right there around 100 yards rushing. So they've been able to find some balance. And then on the de defensive side of the ball for the Dolphins, Vance jo Joseph feels very comfortable with the unit he has on that side. They're able to bring great pressure off the edges with Cameron Wake and Mario Williams. They also have Indomitian Sue in the middle that's bringing pressure up the middle. So this is going to be a good contest. I'm looking forward to it.